Members of the Sports Cohort Outcomes Registry, or SCORE, are pediatric orthopedic surgeons working together to improve care through quality improvement initiatives. A tear of the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, can make participation in sports and other activities very difficult and even worse, can lead to damage of the bones and other soft tissues in the knee joint. Surgical reconstruction is frequently recommended for a torn ACL. Your surgeon will discuss with you the most appropriate and safest procedure for you or your child. Although this procedure has very few risks, it is important for you to know them. The risks we will review now were noted in a study of almost 10,000 pediatric patients after an ACL reconstruction. Less than 1% of patients have complications relating to anesthesia, most of which are minor and include nausea, vomiting, or minor allergic reactions. Rarely the complications are more severe. Less than 1% of patients develop a blood clot in the surgical leg. Most blood clots occur when there is a family history of blood clots, birth control is being taken, or when the patient has other risk factors. If left untreated, this can cause serious complications or require hospitalization. With any surgical procedure, there is a risk of infection. Less than 2% of patients develop an infection in the incision or knee joint after surgery. Infections may require treatment with medication. Less often, additional surgery is needed. Stiffness may be caused by a buildup of scar tissue in the joint, which makes moving the knee more difficult. Less than 2% of patients may experience severe stiffness that requires additional surgery. A higher percentage of patients may require additional physical therapy or physician visits to address less severe stiffness after surgery. Performing recommended exercises will help reduce the risk of stiffness. Modern techniques of ACL reconstruction are designed to avoid affecting the growth of the leg. A well-recognized report suggests that less than 5% of patients experience changes to the growth plates. This can cause changes in leg length or alignment. Other studies suggest that after this procedure, one in every 10 patients will re-injure the same leg with a similar risk of injuring the opposite ACL. To reduce the risk of injury, it is important to follow activity restrictions until cleared by the surgeon. A return to play toolkit is available for your medical team at this website. We have reviewed the most common complications. Very few patients experience other problems. If you have questions about this procedure or any of these risks, speak with your surgeon.